On March 2nd, 2022, in what is quite the unexpected bit of news, WestJet announced that they had reached an agreement to buy Sunwing Airlines and Sunwing Vacations. According to their press release, this acquisition will bring together two distinctly Canadian travel and tourism success stories to deliver new travel options and greater value for travelers in the rapidly expanding leisure and work-from-anywhere travel markets. This transaction is expected to close later this year, and following that, WestJet says that a new tour operating business unit will be created under the WestJet Group to include both Sunwing Vacations and WestJet Vacations Incorporated and will be led by Sunwing CEO Stephen Hunter. They also said that this tour operator business will be headquartered in Toronto, with a Quebec head office in Laval, and the business will continue to market the Sunwing brand alongside WestJet Vacations. The WestJet Group will maintain its head office in Calgary. It's not totally clear just yet how the Sunwing brand will coexist with WestJet, and what that means for routes where WestJet and Sunwing already compete. Now, in the grand scheme of the Canadian aviation industry, this merger does kind of make sense. Both carriers are 737 operators, flying both the 800 and MAX 8, so it's not as though a new fleet type is being introduced. It will be interesting to see where exactly Sunwing planes and crews fit into the hierarchy that WestJet has now, whether they'll go to mainline, swoop, or somewhere in between. Sunwing, however, is very much focused on leisure travel, with very few domestic flights. They operate flights to sun destinations from all over Canada, but even more so in eastern Canada. WestJet has a much more expansive domestic network to back up their own sun flying, while Sunwing focuses more on point-to-point -point travel. That said, there is one Canadian market that Sunwing serves that may have been on WestJet's radar during this acquisition, Canada's second largest city, Montreal. Over the years, Montreal seems to have been a tough market for WestJet to crack, what with Air Canada, Air Transat, and, well, Sunwing having an already established presence there. In that way, this acquisition may be the thing WestJet needs to finally, successfully break into the Quebec sun-flying market. The potential risk with all of this, though, is further consolidation of the Canadian airline sector, which is likely not a good thing for consumers. That said, owing to, again, their lack of a domestic network, Sunwing was one of the hardest hit Canadian airlines during 2020 and 2021, and had taken some loans from the Government of Canada through the large employer emergency financing facility. So, it's possible that WestJet saw an opportunity for negotiation, and maybe made an offer that Sunwing couldn't refuse. It's also worth mentioning that the Sunwing Travel Group is partly owned by Europe's TUI Group, and throughout the year, it's pretty common to see airplanes move between Canada and Europe. TUI 737s usually come to Canada in the winter to fly for Sunwing, while Sunwing 737s head to Europe in the summer. The press release does mention that this inclusion of Sunwing under the WestJet Group would add increased capacity, dedicating otherwise seasonal aircraft to operate year-round in Canada, instead of Sunwing supplementing seasonal demand with imported aircraft, which translates into more jobs for Canadians. So if this deal does go through, this may be the last year we see those hybrid TUI Sunwing 737s. In November, WestJet also signed a code share agreement with Air Transat, allowing passengers to book transatlantic flights with both carriers on a single itinerary. That, too, would certainly strengthen WestJet's presence in eastern Canada, and that seems to be their goal at the moment. A similar merger was attempted in 2019 between Air Canada and Air Transat, but that didn't go ahead for a couple of reasons. So, in the case of WestJet and Sunwing, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.